I can do anything. Oh my gosh. Whoa, it's a rainbow. Hey fam fam, it's Rebecca, and for today's video, I'm gonna be doing something that I have never done before, but always wanted to do, because it's combining two things that I love. So for today's video, I'm gonna be taking all of these giant bath bombs and pouring them into this huge pool to make giant DIY bath bomb slime. I really hope this doesn't fail and turn into a big hot mess, but we won't know till we try. Make sure to subscribe and join the Zam fam if you haven't already. Turn on those notifications and join the Zam fam squad. Oh my gosh. Now that I have all the bath bombs in the pool, I'm gonna take hot water and I'm gonna pour it on the bath bombs and let them disintegrate into the colors and smells that they're supposed to be, you know? All right, this is something I've always wanted to do is like pour it. Oh my gosh. It's like a rainbow of water. I'm gonna need more hot water to disintegrate all this. Whoa, it's a rainbow. Definitely needs a lot more hot water. Whoa, oh my gosh. Because all the bath bombs are different colors, I'm really curious to see what the slime is gonna turn out and if I'm gonna be able to make slime with this. So now we're gonna have to let the bath bombs fully disintegrate before we can make the slime. So now that the bath bombs are fully disintegrated, which is actually the coolest thing ever, and it smells so good, I wish you guys could smell it right now, I'm going to be then adding the glue. I'm going to kind of guess this and do equal parts glue as water, and I'm hoping that will work. Again, I don't know yet, so stick around because we're gonna just find out what happens. So I am now taking my first, oh wow, first gallon of glue. This kind of is like making slime backwards in a sense because we're starting with like the stuff you would do last. Gotta get all this out because I'm gonna need a lot of glue, especially with the amount of water that I have in here right now. Oh, it was so pretty and now that I'm mixing it, it's turning into kind of an ugly greenish color. It's kind of activating in a weird way. It's already sticking together, which is so weird because I haven't added in any stay flow yet. So I made a bath bomb a long time ago and I know it has citric acid in it, different things, but I'm wondering what the ingredient is in the bath bomb exactly that's making it turn like chunky. It's smelling a little bit weird now and funky. I don't want to put my hands in yet because it looks like a swamp. I'm going to be honest. Whoa, I just poured glue in though and it came up red. If I can make bath bomb slime, I can do anything. It's a lot of glue. I definitely think I'm going to have to add more glue, but I'm gonna mix it first. I don't want this to be a fail. I honestly haven't made slime with water in a while. I usually don't like to use water because it's just easier not to measure. This just looks like oatmeal right now. I also have a couple extra bath bombs that I might try to add at the end to see if it helps with the coloring. Some more glue. Might even add some shaving cream. This definitely went from the prettiest thing I've ever seen to the ugliest thing I have ever seen. This is a giant amount of slime. Not even phased by the glue I just put in. Let me add, oh yeah. So now I'm adding shaving cream and I'm hoping we're gonna kind of make it a little fluffier. It's like fixing slime before it's even slime. Now I wanna test out where we're at and so I'm going to add some activator. I'm hoping this will help. Oh, okay. Now I'm gonna probably go through a lot more activator than normal. It's almost over activated. This is definitely like making slime backwards. Definitely a lot of water. At least it's starting to stick together. That's a plus. You might not want to try this one at home. This looks like turkey. I was trying to figure out if I should add in the color before or after and I wanted to try the bath bombs first so they could fully disintegrate. All right, so I have been kneading this slime for a while now. It's not the best slime, that's for sure. It's definitely over activated. I've gotten it to a point, I've added a ton of shaving cream to where I think it's pretty good. Definitely not a normal slime, but it's not a big fail. Oh, 
I'm thinking of if I bring lotion that this it might stretch it out. So I'm gonna grab some lotion. Before I get the lotion, I'm gonna add actually a little bit more glue just to make sure that that water really drains and gets absorbed. There's obviously so much activator in it. it doesn't need more activator. This is a challenge though that I have always wanted to do. I wanted to know what would happen. I would probably suggest making the slime first and adding it and seeing what happens. It's just so heavy, it's hard to even stretch. I would call this right now murky gray. Lotion. Now I wanna just add the lotion to like a little bit of it because I wanna see what will happen. Weirdly, it's working. It's, oh. Kind of working. I feel like you just have to go through and just like really knead this out, which I want to do before I add the bath bombs to it for the final presentation. Feels like a slippery wet fish. I think to really knead it out all the way, I'm gonna need to call in Matt to help me. Matt. I'm in. This doesn't feel right. Yeah, definitely is a job for two for this. It's still terrible slime. No, it's not terrible, Matt. We're gonna take out a little bit of the leftover excess water in hopes that that will help dry it out a little bit. All right, back to kneading. Back to kneading, and I added more glue. Now we are adding even more glue and more shaving cream to mix this slime. Look though, if you have a piece of it, it really does work. <gasps> it's so exhausting. Okay, I think it's time that we add another bath bomb to it to make it pretty. Okay, so I have a little piece of a bath bomb right here in the center, and I'm gonna add just like a little bit of water. So I'm adding some bonus bath bombs. We're just gonna see what kind of colors come up now. We're gonna basically do what we did at the beginning, but with the slime that we've made. We're adding just a little oh! on each. And we're just gonna let them sizzle out on here because we gotta finish this video right. It's back to being very colorful. Again, I have too much water, so I'm gonna have to put it all somewhere and then take it out. The slime, it's coming together. It's actually working. I'm kind of impressed. Whoa, it's supposed to be soon. <laughs> so now I am taking these bath bombs and I'm rolling them around and look how cool this is looking. It's like tie-dye slime. Can't even describe this because this is so different from other slime I've made. And when I failed before, it's been like a full fail, but these, this is interesting. What do you guys think? Is this a fail? I think we fixed it somewhat. And then look at the colors. How can you not enjoy? I'm making bath bomb slime. I'm doing it all the time. Whoa. All in all, I would say you might not want to try this at home. If you guys see the bath bomb, it's breaking. It's like the top coat of the slime. I'm so interested to see what happens if we let this sit for a few days. I love it, even though it's not maybe necessarily good slime. All right, you guys, and that concludes me attempting to make giant bath bomb slime. Let me know which one you prefer better, bath bombs or slime. And also, was this a fail? I don't really know. I'm going back and forth. Like, it's not the best slime in the world, but it's definitely interesting. Subscribe and join the Zam Fam if you haven't already. Again, give this video a thumbs up if you like slime videos. Love you, Zam Fam, and I'll see you next time.